hello there i am here once again with another video and uh, today in this uh, video i am going to show you how to use your android smartphone as uh, wireless speaker and uh, connect it to your computer or your laptop previously i already created uh, one uh, video about uh, uh, this same topic but uh, there I use Windows to connect the Android smartphone uh, but uh, in today's video I will show you how the same will work on uh, Linux operating system and uh, here I am using uh, Ubuntu 16.04 first of all uh, uh, you have to download the Soundwire server here the first link is the official link for the soundware server here you can see this is the of official home for georgia labs and uh, you can see this software is available for uh, many platforms like you can see for windows linux and uh, you have to download it by clicking if you are using 64 bit linux you can select this otherwise if you are using 32 bit you can select this okay and uh, for some more details you can read all this documentation okay and check what are the limits of this software and what more it can do okay let's download it it's downloaded i will extract it to my desktop okay now we extracted the downloaded file on the desktop and uh, open the folder here you can see this text file install.txt uh, this file contains all the instructions to install the software and uh, all the dependencies there that are required to run this software properly okay we open it and uh, follow these steps one by one to successfully install this software the first step says uh, if you are using the firewall in your linux system then uh, you have to specify these incoming and outgoing ports okay if you are uh, not using any firewall or previously not set any firewall uh, you can simply ignore this okay or if you are using a firewall and uh, do not want to configure these ports you can simply open the firewall from here system and uh, you can simply off it okay here i am using the firewall but now the status of my firewall is off okay i will keep it off okay no need to worry more about this step if you are not using firewall okay and the next step uh, says uh, install pulse audio volume control okay using your package manager we are using uh, ubuntu and we can run this command to install this pulse audio volume controller you, by this command you can simply copy this command and paste in in the terminal and execute it uh, here you can see i already installed uh, this package it's showing already installed okay you can install this package now the second requirement is uh, complete the third requirement says install the port audio package port audio package uh, using your package manager uh, the site is there and it say if you your linux distribution has 
lib port audio two package it will work as well uh, i prefer this because ubuntu have this package and you can if you don't have this package you can uh, simply copy this the package name and you can search for this package ubuntu install okay you can also mention the uh, version of your ubuntu i am using 16 for because uh, there are some uh, differences in the versions here the first link how to install i will open it and here are the commands first uh, i will execute this uh, command to update the apt it's done uh, now the second command to install the port audio now you can see it's already installed the newest version okay if in your system it is not installed it will take some time to install okay now the third step is completed the fourth step says you have install uh, the qtify libraries okay if you are using uh, debian or uh, ubuntu you will install this package libqtify widget 5 and if you are using red hat or fedora you can uh, simply install this qtify qt base uh, i am using uh, ubuntu i will install this package okay copy the name of the package and uh, simply search for the command how to install this install ubuntu and we i also mention the version of the ubuntu okay uh, here the first link how to install this package simply copy this command and execute this commands here the package is already installed it says already in newest version okay now this requirement is also satisfied uh, the next requirement is about the curl lib curl uh, this package is not uh, necessary to run this software but uh, this helps Uh, to update the version of uh, soundwire okay let's install this libcurl libcurl uh, install ubuntu 16.04 uh, i will prefer this here you can search for this open ssl here is the command and simply paste it uh, i will uh, append uh, the sudo uh, at the front because it's already installed and uh, the requirement is satisfied the next requirement uh, it's not necessary it's simply telling some information all the requirements are satisfied now you can uh, go to the directory where you extracted your soundwire server here is the directory the soundwire server i extracted it on the desktop and here this file sound wire server okay not this file this file you can simply right click and select the run you can see the software is running the server address is this the server address may vary system to system okay in my case the address is this and the status is disconnected uh, because the smartphone is 
not connected yet okay and you can simply go to the pulse audio controller from uh, clicking this button here is the controller you can see okay no need to worry about the controller and uh, now we connect your, our mobile phone our android smartphone to this sound wire server the first step is uh, that your android smartphone must be connected via hotspot via hotspot i already connected my android smartphone to the computer and now the only work left on your mobile phone on your smartphone okay all the work is done on the computer side now i will switch to my android smartphone and tell you how to configure your application in your smartphone okay open the play store and uh, search for sound wire sound wire okay here you can see i already installed and when you search the sound wire there are two versions one is free and one is paid and uh, you can simply prefer the free one i already installed the uh, uh, the sound wire free version i will open it and you can see the interface of the sound wire okay here is the button to connect or disconnect and here is the text box where you will enter uh, the server address this server address okay uh, i will enter it 192.168.43.27 and simply tap this button this spring button and you can see the status is connected and the voice is coming from my phone okay if the voice is not coming from your phone you can change some configuration for your audio and you can simply go to the volume controller and uh, go to the configuration you can uh, click this profile and select the stereo output mode okay if you are using duplex and uh, the sound is not coming you can uh, simply use the st stereo output okay now some configuration about the Uh, software sound wire server uh, i recommend you to change these settings uh, go to the settings from here and uh, i recommend you uh, to select the buffer audio buffer size this as small as possible because if you select the large buffer there may be some latency in the audio and if you use the small size buffer there is no latency here you can see large gives smooth audio and small large gives lower latency okay we can use the small buffer and we can select auto reconnect if the device is connected and connect on start okay check these boxes uh, and in the future when you open the application in in your computer and open the application in your mobile phone it will automatically connected you no need to click this button spring button and connect it will automatically connected okay now i think uh, you will enjoy this and uh, take the advantage of this software and i also recommend you to tell about this software to your friends they will also love it and you can use your smartphone as wireless speaker uh, i already created uh, one of video that uh, shows the same demonstration but there i am using windows and now i am showing you all the process 
how to use with your linux okay thanks for watching have a nice day